Hi Aquarius, welcome to your May general reading. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. This is a general collective reading. We're going to take a look at the energies around you at this time. So it could be general, it could be love, work, career, finance, whatever comes out, we're going to take it as, as it comes. So please only take it how it resonates for you. It may not resonate with everybody. Please don't try to make it fit. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Um, hold out for future readings or check the description box below for your past uh, playlist. Maybe something there will resonate. I do consider them timeless, even though they are dated. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. If you would like a private reading, that info is below, along with tons of other information. So please do go check that out. And this could be past, present, or future. So please, like I said, only take it how it resonates for you. So let's see what we get here for you, Aquarius. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So this is a Zodiac Oracle, so I always pull one of these first. We get a sign, element, or planet, and we'll see how that plays into your reading. If we pull a sign, you don't resonate with that sign, totally fine. Doesn't mean the rest of the reading's not for you. If you clicked on it for the title, then there could be something in here for you. So only take the parts that resonate for you. And let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. And then with this deck here, I'll pull an opening message, and then I'll pull one for your energy. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look into your situation, advice, guidance, possible outcome. And then with this deck here, we'll pull some closing messages from that oracle. So let's see what we have for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female, general collective for Aquarius. What's going on for the general reading? Wow, okay. <laughs> and we have water. So water is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. We have 24 there, which is six. It's That is six. It's about healing and balance. And water is very fluid. It's very healing. It's about going with the flow. can be about deep emotions and feelings also, or an emotional time. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Are you finally balancing your emotions out over a very emotional time? Kind of going with the flow now? Very healing energy. Aquarius, you do represent the star, which is about deep healing. All right. And you are 11. 11 is about being on the right path. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what your opening messages are. What is your opening message for Aquarius? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Male or female. Jupiter also. Oh, there we go. General Collective. Falcon. We have fire energy here now, which is, I believe that is 41, 41, I believe, falcon. So rising like the falcon out of something here. That would make sense if you've done some very deep healing and now rising from the ashes. I believe that is 41. So we have taking charge, severity, and confidence. So now I feel like you're much more confident. Um... It says, take charge of your life instead of relying upon others. What would you do if you could rule over your dominion? So this is about taking charge, rising like the falcon, over, maybe overcoming something here in um, maybe a deep emotional time, healing, massive healing. All right, so let's see here. And I see the eye, eye of Horus or something like that. I'm not sure. But I recognize it, but I don't know the technical name for it. So let's see. Let's see. Let's get an opening message. What's going on here for you? Aquarius, general collective, male, female. So we have Bluebird here, which is 33. Three, double three, which is about teamwork, collaboration, compromise, uh, social energy, community energy. But three of three is six again, which is about... Healing and balance. Healing and balance. So let's see what the bluebird has to say, which is air energy, which is number 33. Optimism and hope, happiness and idealism. So I feel like taking charge maybe of your life and massive healing, going with the flow, now being very, having a lot of hope, optimism, faith. And the birds always represent for me, uh, I don't know why I'm shuffling, uh, represent for me about news coming in. 
though it doesn't say that, birds always represent about uh, messages or news. Could be good news. So on the bottom of the deck here, we have bat, which is 28, which is 10, which is about an ending. But then there's always a new beginning. We have ear energy again. So we have two ear. You are an ear sign. So let's see what the bat has to say. Number 28, looking beyond fear, unexpected transformations, good fortune. So I feel like here, uh, sorry, I'm just looking something up again. So I feel like you've taken charge. You're confident now. You're having a lot of hope, faith, optimism. Some news could have came in here, but there's also an ending and transformation here with the bat energy. Um, just ear energy. So I feel like here, uh, you know, coming, you know, getting over fear, an unexpected transformation, good fortune. So things taking a turn for the better here. Maybe some good news coming in. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. Go, just going, kind of going with the flow. Maybe you're just trying to go, you know, going along with life, going with the flow. And then all of a sudden some kind of good news comes in which uh, lets you take better control over your life, like rising out of something here. Because I get like the falcon, uh, almost like the phoenix energy, like rising out of the ashes. Endings, transformations, new beginnings, healing, going with the flow. All right, what's going on with Aquarius? That's way too many. What's going on with Aquarius, please? What is this energy? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male, female, Jupiter. Four, so healing, massive healing again. Four of swords, it's about massive healing, thinking, contemplating, retreating, um, kind of energy, taking time alone. Of course, we're all in quarantine right now, so maybe, you know, has to do something with this quarantine energy also. Three of Cups. So now we have an energy of, that's that community energy. Uh, community, social energy, uh, reuniting, uniting, having a good time, rejoicing, celebrating. All right, so what else here? Four of Wands. Uh, six of Wands. Sorry, this kind of looked like the Six of Wands. Four, so Six of Wands, happy home life, success, victory, accomplishment, feeling accomplished. All right, what else here? High Priestess, a High Priest. I said the High Priestess, so it could be male or female. High Priest or Priestess. This is Taurus energy. So this is about, can be about marriage, commitment. It also can be about faith, spirituality, religion, uh, committing yourself to something, doing what's moral, just, and right um, kind of energy. All right, what else here? It can also talk about institutional things such as law, government, education, higher learning. All right, what else here? What else here? What's going on for Aquarius? So Ten of Swords. So there's an ending, some sort of ending here. Painful, hurtful ending, completion. All right, let's get one more. It's two. Want one more. Queen of Pentacles energy here. So this could be uh, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. So this is about, you know, knowing your value, your worth, king or queen, being stable, grounded, secure, practical, uh, smart and wise, grounded. So there's been some sort of ending here. There's an ending, but there's also success and victory, something you are committed to. I mean, it could be a marriage, it could be a job, career, something here, situation. And now you're celebrating uh, some sort of success and victory, rising out of an ending here. Like, you know, a falcon or a phoenix from the ashes. But, you know, with the um, bluebird, you know, faith, hope, optimism, maybe some sort of news comes in, which leads you on to a new path. Because we have unexpected fortune here with the bat. Change, transformation deep healing. So let's see a lot of energy here. So let's see what's going on 
for you. If that makes sense for you, Aquarius, but let's see what's going on. What is, I feel like whatever ending you had that, whatever you were committed to could have been something in your home life. I mean, it could have been a marriage. It could have been, I don't know, a job. It could have been anything here, but you were committed to something. But now there's been an ending, but you're more stable now and celebrating. And there's been some deep healing with the Four of Swords and success and victory. And with the Queen of Pentacles there, I mean, it could be a new job. Maybe, you know, um, lost a job or ending of a job, but now good news comes in and now a uh, new opportunity comes in. Fortune. Let's see. Yeah, so he has an offer here with the Knight of Cups. I mean, it could be a love offer. And now we have the Two of Swords. So being indecisive about some kind of offer is genuine. Genuine. Um, so it could be a love offer. You know, if you've just ended like a long, long-term relationship or commitment, you know, maybe you're stable and grounded on your own. You know, you're going out or, you know, maybe you were at one time going out and having a good time with your friends. Um, and you just, you know, kind of like your alone time, being alone, feeling just happy and good in your own vibration, being alone, taking care of yourself, you know. Because it could have been an ending to a marriage or a long-term commitment. You know, you've healed. Now you're just kind of going with the flow. And this could be a new lo love offer that comes in. And now you're like, geez, I don't know about this. Could be a new love offer, a new job, or something. Somebody moving towards you that you may be indecisive about or you're indecisive about. Like, gee, I'm not sure of this. I'm holding my own pentacle. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I'm stable in my own right. This is like the minor of the empress. That's way too many, but let's take the top one here. Six of Cups. So this is a past life soulmate. So it could be someone from the past returning with a love offer. Could have been someone that you ended something with. Could have been in a marriage or a long-term relationship and now it's coming back. Or if you've ended something now, it's like, you know, I've healed. I'm right. I rose from the ashes. Um, I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling good. You know, I've healed. I'm good in my own right. I'm committed to me and my journey. Then all of a sudden, either love returns, someone that you already know, or someone from the past, or an ex, or something here. And now you're like, geez, I don't know about this offer. Indecisive about this offer, but we do have some sort of soulmate here returning, or past life soulmate. Death, yeah, that you could have ended with. Definitely here. Scorpio energy here. So this is something that I feel like something that ended is coming back around that you're indecisive about. And it could be, you know, a love past lover, somebody you were committed to for a long time, could have even lived with them. But now I feel like you're independent and alone and you're like, uh, you know, I ended this. I don't know, you know, you ending trans ending leads to death here. Ending leads to transcendence, transformation kind of energy. And you're like, I, I don't know about this. All right. You may have been fearsome about, you know, being on your own, but I feel like you're good now. And now something comes back and you're like, uh, don't know if I want this again. Seven of Cups leaving you kind of confused, dazed and confused. I feel like you're dazed and confused as to why is this coming back around? I thought this was over. I thought this was the end. I've risen from the ashes. I'm feeling, you know, good on my own. And now it's coming back around and you're like, why, why, why? Feeling confused and unsure. All right, so let's get, so I feel like this could be about a love ex or someone coming back around. Again, you could have been married or living with them or a uh, long-term commitment and you're like, I thought this was over. So let's see your advice or guidance. Six of Pentacles. So this is about balance, equal reciprocation between two, or some sort of balance here. Equal give and take. Justice. So this is truth, clarity. So we got two energies here. This is the minor of justice, and this is the major of justice. Libra energy with justice right here. So it's truth, clarity, balancing of the scales. So let's see, your advice here is about balance and truth and clarity. Getting justice, serving justice. So are you serving justice to this person? Are you like 
giving back to them what they gave to you. Like <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. This is a stable new beginning. They actually could be coming back around now to offer you something more stable. And you may not see it at first. You may be like, I thought this was over and done, you know, and now it's coming back, feeling confused. But here's a stable new beginning, secure, grounded, uh, for the future, long term. I feel like this person may be coming back around and wanting to give you something long term. And you're not sure. But let's see, one more Queen of Wands energy here. So this could be Aries energy, doesn't have to be. So very fiery, passionate, go-getter energy goes after what they want. So I feel like this person's coming back, king or queen, doesn't matter, coming back to serve justice, give justice, now wanting to offer something stable for the long term. Fire and the passion is still there. They want to balance out the scales and make things right. It's up to you whether or not you will accept this because I feel like you thought this was over and done. And it was just the end of it. And you've moved on. You've transcended. You've healed. You know, you're being, you know, hopeful and optimistic again about life. You faced your fears. And it's coming back around. And now they want to justify this and offer something long term and stable for, you know, maybe even offering marriage or something like that. If you were just living together before. They definitely still carry a lot of passion for you. So that's your advice to know how they truly feel but whether or not you'll accept this coming back around it's up to you Aquarius so let's see what the uh, outcome may be in this situation for you Aquarius I feel like soulmate coming back around for a second chance yeah you, you feel for some reason you feel some sort of toxic energy tied to them Capricorn energy here could be just a very lustful strong bond between the two of you like a deep deep soulmate connection that almost gets toxic at times, like where you feel like you can't live without each other. Seven of Wands. So you may be defensive against this person. You know, you may put a wall up and be defensive and on guard about them. You know, are you coming back in the same toxic pattern as the past? So you may put up a little bit of a barrier. Let's see what else. Eight of Pentacles, but this is about investing and putting in the work. Slow, steady, grounded, and putting in the work. So, you know, you may put up a wall and say, you know, are you coming back in the same toxic pattern? Is this going to be a repeat of the past? Because if it is, you know, the answer will be no. But if not, if you are sincere, it's stable, it's grounded, you want long term, is this marriage or being more stable and grounded for the long term? Then I'm willing to invest. So it's totally up to you. Um, Aquarius. So let's clarify this devil energy. Let's clarify this devil energy for Aquarius spirit, please. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, they feel a bond to you. If it's ended and they're coming back around, they can't let go of this bond. It's a strong, strong soulmate bond here with the devil. It's kind of like the lovers, but it's very, very intense. They want... They never want to lose you. They want you for long term now with the Ten of Pentacles. They want this Ten of Pentacles with you. They know that now. Again, like I said, whether or not you'll invest now into the Ten of Pentacles. All right. So let's clarify the, um, let's see, Eight of Pentacles. Are we working on this or not? So again, moving forward, here's the offer coming in. Knight of Pentacles, moving forward very slow, cautiously, carefully, being smart, wise, practical, making slow, steady movement forward. But again, a lot of um, earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you may decide to work on this slow, steady, see where it goes. If they're sincere and grounded, um, you may be still putting, you know, healthy boundaries up with the Seven of Wands, you know, and say, you know, if this goes back to any toxic past patterns or whatever here, I'm out. But let's see where it goes. Slow, steady, practical. I do see long term with the ace to the ten. Wow. Marriage, commitment. Did have Taurus up here with um, the Hierophant, which is about marriage, commitments, success, victory over here. Page of Swords. So again, this is open, honest, truthful communication and 
telling them, you know, again, what honest communication, I will use this sword to cut our tie once more, if need be. So I think you'll be watching them very carefully. But Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. But again, if conflict arises, um, conflict, competition, or whatever here, I will close this cycle out with the world energy. I will close it out again, and I'm not afraid to do that. So the world energy here can be um, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. But here's that deep healing. And did I not say star? Aquarius, you are the star. Deep, deep healing. Divinely guided energy. Faith, hope, optimism, wishes, and dreams coming true. So deep healing again. But four of cups and the ten of swords. Again, if you're left in this energy of feeling unsure about this, bored, melancholy, you know, feeling that energy again. Ten of swords, uh, five of swords, sorry, five of swords. Energy of, um, you know, either one-upping, backstabbing, or being in that uh, decisive energy again. You know, I will think about it heavily again here with the Virgo energy, Hermit. Withdraw my energy. And the High Priestess, listen to you, got your intuition, your higher knowing, Pisces. And maybe, you know, again, withdrawing your energy about this person and really listening to your intuition. And here's the epiphany, aha moment, enlightenment. This is my divine enlightenment, having truth and clarity, victorious new beginning. I think this person, you know, does have a, have a lot of love for you. Maybe they didn't really express it in the past before. I mean, they may now. This is Pisces energy. But we do have the four of wands here. So this could be a soulmate twin flame energy, happy home and family, stability in the home life. I see this moving forward victoriously. A lot of drive, ambition, balance, energy moving forward. Cancer energy here. Still a lot of fire and passion between you now with the Ace of Wands. Exciting, you know, fiery and passionate energy here. Empress energy. Emperor, Empress, knowing you value your worth. And again, only moving forward if it's of peace, harmony, balance into a better place. Wow. So the fire and the passion is still there. Does have the energy to move forward, positive movement forward, drive ambition and balance, possible twin flame soulmate energy, stability. This again, marriage commitment. King of Cups, somebody does have a lot of love here, maybe telling you that with honesty and truthfulness, but needing to listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, and the hermit also withdraws energy. It does that deep diving, soul searching work. Five of Swords and the Four of Cups, if we get back into that energy, uh, you know, may use that sword to sever this tie once again. There is deep healing here. Hope, faith, hope, optimism, wish dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. But if I need to close out the cycle again, if there's any uh, conflict here, I will. But we do have happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. But I think you'll be keeping a close eye on this person being very open and honest with them. Also, you are an air sign. So, wow. Okay, so I feel like <laughs> X coming back around and wanting a deep commitment now, knowing that, but you're a little confused, unsure. You'll be watching them very carefully. You may give this another go, another try, but, you know, anything arises uh, that's not copacetic, I think you'll be using that sword to sever this tie once more. And I think that'll be it. And that'll be the end. So you may give them one more chance uh, to rectify themselves or the situation. But I do see has this energy to uh, be very victorious and uh, passionate and stable in the long term. Ace to the Ten of Pentacles. All right. So and that could be the energy up here. We're celebrating, you know, celebrating this now listen to music. So this just came out for um, Scorpio. So we have listened to music. 10 is about endings, one new beginning. So if music plays an important part for you for healing or whatever here, it's telling you to listen to music. That makes sense for some of you. You may be receiving advice, guidance, messages through music. So keep uh, that in mind also. Say, I'm sorry. So somebody will be saying they are sorry. 29 here, which is 11. Somebody may be divinely guided to say them that I'm sorry. 11 is about being on the right path. And you Aquarius, Aquarius are 11. So now we have 11, 11. So definitely could be a twin flame energy here. We did have the four of wands. Somebody, I think, will be saying they're sorry. Wanting to uh, 
rectify this. What else? And sorry and thank you. <laughs> so, wow. so for, again, stability, the twin flame number four, 1111. So somebody may be saying thank you for giving me another chance. Thank you for coming into my life. Thank you um, for everything you've given to me. So, wow. All right, let's see if there's one more. One more. Seek an expert. So you may, 52-7, feel divinely guided here to seek some sort of um, guidance or something like that. I mean, maybe even be a tarot reader or um, somebody of wise counsel, someone who's just a wise person to see what they think. But seeking out advice and guidance, if you feel like you need to do that. And thank God, 55. 55 is about five major change, challenge. Um, but then 5, 5, 10 is about endings and new beginnings. So you may be thanking them. Uh, thank you. So we have thank you twice. Someone saying this, sorry. Music and seek an expert if you feel like you need to. And thanking God, you know, maybe for the ship returning. Maybe you've been praying for this person to come back for some of you. And it's like the universe heard your prayer and here they come back in here being very thankful. Wow. But I feel like if they're coming back, they, I think, are sincere this time. I do. But you may be doubtful, maybe very doubtful. But uh, I do see it uh, going all the way here, Aquarius. It's whether or not you choose to give it another shot, shot or uh, let them rectify themselves in the situation here. I don't see any third party, so I don't know what happened between you that caused an ending here. Uh, well, we do have the three of cups, so there could have been a third party. Could have been some sort of third party. Doesn't have to be a person. It can be a person, place, or thing, or situation. Doesn't necessarily have to mean an affair. Um, so whatever that means for you. It could be quarantine, <laughs> whatever here, but um, however it resonates for you. Okay, Aquarius, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.